All right. So we're back out here at the range again after quite some time. Uh, I've brought out the uh, Smith & Wesson Performance Center uh, 586L Comp. Um, nice piece. It's kind of uh, everything that you would expect out of a uh, Performance Center model. Uh, right from the, the fit and finish is absolutely perfect. And the... Uh, uh, workings of it are uh, remarkable as well. 586 L comp is a uh, L frame 357 38 um, with a power port compensator on the uh, front end, and it uh, you know is there to help mitigate some of the um, recoil or muzzle flip that we see with the uh, higher pressure rounds, especially in a uh, um, shorter barrel, uh, as in this case, a three-inch barrel. Now, uh, compensators are not, um, you know, magical. They still have to abide by the laws of physics, so there still is some uh, muzzle flip and recoil, but uh, the compensator, as its name, tames it a little bit. It compensates, um, especially with the uh, the higher pressure 357. You don't notice much of a difference between an uncompensated versus a compensated uh, revolver when you're shooting uh, 38 uh, special, uh, a lighter loaded uh, ammunition, but it really does shine when you're using uh, 357s. Um, this guy is uh, a seven round cylinder, uh, as you can see there, and it is cut from moon clips. Uh, I don't use moon clips because they're such a uh, hassle to load, but I do use speed loaders. Um, this revolver does function perfectly well without uh, moon clips in place. They are optional, and when you purchase one, uh, they do come with two uh, seven-round moon clips. Um, the uh, action on this one is quite nice. It's what you would expect from a uh, Performance Center model, wherein it, uh, it has about a, oh, I don't know, probably about nine pounds on the double action. But uh, the way I shoot in single action, it really is uh, clean and crisp and breaks um, really right at two pounds. Um, you really couldn't ask uh, for more when it comes to a, uh, a revolver right off the line. Um, it really is outstanding. It's something that I wouldn't have any further work done. And the return spring is uh, nice and snappy. It puts it right back there. Now, it does come with um, both a rubber bantam-style grip, as well as nice rosewood um, boot grips. But again, the way I shoot, don't use the uh, wood grips. They are very nice looking, but not necessarily as functional in terms of, um, you know, getting good purchase on the uh, firearm as I find with the conversion from round butt, uh, round to square conversion grips. I use this on all of my uh, Um Gives you the sort of the, well, gives me the same feel for each one of my uh, pieces. Um, the L frame, a little bit bigger uh, than the K frame, but the grip is the exact same size. K and L frame are the exact same grips, um, and the distance between the trigger face and the back strap is um, identical in the K and the L frames. So uh, I have the 19 carry comp, which is on the K frame, very similar model. Um, it is a six shot, bead blasted and blued, just like this is a seven shot, bead blasted and three inch barrel compensated with a little tritium vial in there as a night sight. It glows okay in the absolute pitch darkness, but it is not, um, you know, the brightest and biggest night sight out there. Uh, nice accoutrement, um, but um, it works. And this uh, has adjustable rear sights for both uh, windage and elevation. A nice black blade um, does its job. Took me a couple of cylinders uh, through it to get uh, the adjustable sights adjusted just right for me. Um, but now it's pretty well dead on. So I'll put the usual, uh, you know, I guess seven in and seven out here at the range. 
and we'll see how uh, how we perform. All right, this is the speed loader. Seven rounds in. Okie dokie. We'll go with the bottom target here. As you might notice, I shoot with my middle finger. There's no pressure on the trigger until I'm on target. And when I target, that's when I will engage. Got my pointer finger floating out by the cylinder. For me, as I'm a quadriplegic, and that finger doesn't bend. So there you go. That was seven in and seven out. Nice and smooth. Very nice trigger. Um, and as stated, I used the bottom target, so we'll have a peak down range at the seven yard mark. Always a little bit weird to bring the camera out. Uh, boop, boop, boop. So it's the bottom.